What's good guys, so this is going to be an updated video on uh, how the cap glitch, what is the cap glitch. Uh, I'm sure you've played people online that are doing it, and if you're not doing it, you are at a competitive disadvantage. That is a 125-125 switch hitter with 99 speed and diamond fielding that you do not have, that your opponent does have. So uh, it's definitely a competitive advantage, and if you're serious about winning games, you need to be doing it. Uh, you're not going to get banned or anything. It probably will get patched eventually. Uh, did see the upcoming patch notes as of Friday the 12th. And uh, they're not doing anything about it at the moment. Uh, this could change. Uh, could not. So, uh, what does a cap glitch look like? How can you, you know, tell if your opponent's cap glitching? Um, I have actually... Uh, made the best legit archetype in the game. It's like 125, uh, 116 with like 96 clutch. Uh, if you're facing an opponent and they are um, 125, 125 with 125 clutch and 99 speed, uh, that is not possible. Uh, there is no archetype in the game that will legitimately get you there. They are cap glitching. If it says in the lineup screen, that they are a starting pitcher or a closing pitcher. They are cap glitching. And uh, this is what that looks like, right? So we have 125 of every hitting attribute, 109 vision, 110 discipline, maxed out clutch, uh, maxed out fielding, or all the fielding stats that really matter, uh, maxed out speed, and, you know, maybe you would want 99 steel, but uh, I don't know how to get there. doesn't really matter. So, uh, that is what a cap glitched player looks like, and I'm going to show you guys how you too can get one. Uh, it's not that difficult. Uh, you don't really need the best equipment in the game. I sold all of my equipment. And, uh, yeah, so let's get into it, right? You're going to uh, start a new road to the show. Uh, you don't need a Joe Random roster, but as always, it makes it easier. Uh, maybe not if you are pitching. Uh, so for this example, I'll make a new player for you guys. Uh, you're going to do a two way. You have to do a two way. Uh, this is all up to you. Do not pick Nuxy. You will not be able to use them, um, hitting or pitching online. So do not pick Nuxy. Uh, my recommendation would be velocity or break. I would go velocity. And then from here, you're between power and contact. Do not pick fielding. Uh, you might can get maxed out on fielding, but there's really no point in trying because I know you can get maxed out with contact or power. So we're going to do that. Um, for this road to the show, you can pick a starting pitcher because if you pick closing pitcher with a Joe Random roster, uh, you will never actually get to pitch. The games won't be close enough for you to get save opportunities. You won't be able to uh, pitch. Um, what position is your cap most valuable at? It's probably going to be either catcher or shortstop. Depending on if you have Jeter or what cards come out in set two today. Um, but that's up to you. Obviously, we do not care about any of this. Um, if you are a catcher, you cannot throw left-handed. But obviously, you want a switch hitting batter. Um, and then we would hit start career. Skip through this cutscene. Uh, skip through this dialogue until you get to pick what team you're on. And we're going to pick the team that is our Joe Random team. You can see it's the Reds with this roster. This option does not matter. And I will see you guys once we get drafted. So we just got drafted. Uh, we are on the Reds now. So the first thing you're going to come to is uh, you are going to probably be on this bronze archetype unless you've already done a Cheesy Slugger or whatever the contact velocity one is. If you have already done those, cool. Uh, this is going to save you a lot of time. Otherwise, you're looking at around three hours of sitting here and hitting dingers uh, to get to the diamond archetype. It is somewhat worth it. You will get two diamond equipment packs and a lot of XP. Uh, that's why I'm dropping this video the day after set two comes out. Because if you are listening to my other video, which I will link in the top right right now, um, you should be doing this anyway. And I think these two are probably the best two archetypes to be doing. Uh, two ways go faster, and this will help you cap glitch if that's something you want to do. Um, but for me, I have already got the diamond. It is Swolhe. So we're going to equip that, and then we're going to throw on our perks. Um, 
what I do is you want to get uh, like two power perks and two contact perks and you want to make sure it's the ones with clutch because otherwise you might not be able to hit that maximum clutch threshold. Uh, you might not hit it period and you might have to uh, do the how to max your cap uh, quick method. It's just simming seasons if you need an in-depth tutorial. Uh, I do have one. I will link it now. Otherwise, uh, we're not going to be doing the pitching. Uh, I think it is scummy to pitch with a cap pitcher. Pretty much everybody does because they do submarines that throw 100 miles an hour. Uh, it's not really fun to face. I do not promote that. Uh, this is strictly for position players as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I would not support anybody pitching them. Uh, so you're going to put on your best equipment. I've got the pre-order bat. Um, if you guys want the exact equipment loadout, this is a gold equipment loadout that will work for the cap glitch. Uh, we have the Zonda gold bat and gloves. Uh, any glove that gives 6 and 6 is good. Uh, these Alpha Hirachi Elite 3s, obviously Catcher's Mask is just stuff that I already have. Uh, this doesn't really matter. Elbow Guard doesn't really matter. Shin Guard does matter a little bit. Both of these give 4. Both of these are fine. Uh, it's really up to you. That doesn't matter. Arm Sleeve, I have the Gold Jordan one, but uh, this Silver one that also gives 5 arm is perfectly fine. Uh, the Jackie Robinson back grip, everybody should have this. It's for free from doing the Jackie map uh, in Conquest, so go do that if you haven't done that. Uh, I wear, what I was looking for was reaction to get his reaction max. I do respect the tools as the ritual item to get him more vision and uh, discipline and to max out that reaction. And uh, the Jackie socks, right, they're free also. So uh, that is our loadout. This is a brand new cap, uh, no training, no anything. We will go into DD and uh, see what he looks like. You can see it still says Joe Random in the top left. So uh, what you do with the cap glitch is you put him at DH for your team, and you also put him at either starter or reliever. Uh, we made him a starter. If you want to make him a reliever to free up a spot in your starting rotation in the future, uh, just go into a new road to the show using the same character, simulate the season until uh, the coach asks what you want to do, and just say, I would rather come out the bullpen and play games in between. And uh, that will work for you. So uh, we go single player, play versus CPU. This just helps you see what his stats would be. Um, so we'll pitch whoever. He will bat lead off. Um, so this is important, right? This is what you would do to get your cap in that uh, in the position, right? In my old video on it, uh, this was not known at the time. You can stick him in the position that you play him at in Road to the Show uh, if you manipulate the lineup, right? It does not let you usually do it, but if you do it in this lineup screen instead of in like the team screen, uh, it will let you do it. So uh, I could have anybody playing catcher. I could have Derek Jeter playing catcher, let's say. And let's say I would rather have, uh, you know, my cap play catcher and then free up my DH spot. So you could have literally anybody in the game that you want to hit with there. Uh, and then you just hit X and line up screen, move him to catcher, free up DH. I'm going to put him at lead off just to speed this up, show you guys what the attributes look like. Uh, and kind of give you like a ballpark of how much training you guys might have to do. Uh, you will probably have to do some with this equipment if you want. You can just buy diamond equipment, uh, but there's really no point because uh, the training doesn't take that long. So you can see we are missing 15 contact. Uh, the power is there. The clutch is there. Uh, we're missing some fielding, obviously. We're missing some reaction, and we're missing a little bit of speed. That is all easily obtainable by uh, just simming seasons in uh, Road to the Show. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a quick tutorial on how to do it if you are still hung up and haven't gone to the other video. So we load this up. Uh, I heard that you should do it on Legend difficulty. I don't know if it actually makes a difference or not. So we go to Legend and then we're going to go back to settings and we're going to change our injury slider because there is a chance that you get injured and if you get injured 
obviously you're not playing games, your stats won't increase. And then from here, all we're doing is hitting view calendar and just simulating the season. Uh, do, you know, the first like training day if it pops up. Uh, talk to your coach when it pops up. And that's pretty much it. We just keep going from there. And you won't actually get training days because you're not actually playing the game. So here it is. If you want to make them a reliever, this is how you do it. You say, um, I might want to discuss my roles. And you would say, um, I see myself as a closer who does some hitting and fielding. And that will change his position from a starting pitcher to a relief pitcher. I'll show you guys right now. Go into Diamond Dynasty. He still will be in the starting lineup. So if for some reason you'd rather have him be technically a closer, uh, you can have him in your starting lineup, but there's really no point. So we can put anybody we want there, and then he is free to go into the bullpen. Uh, you will have to reset him by like taking him out of DH and then uh, putting him back in. And that will update his attributes again. And uh, now he is a bullpen piece, and he takes up only one of your bullpen slots. Doesn't really matter, especially for the max out stats that he gives you. Uh, again, I would not advise you to pitch him, but if you do want to be a scumbag and pitch him, your only option is as an opener. If you start the game, he will not be in your bullpen. Uh, and yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you cap glitch. Uh, you might have to go sim some seasons or buy some more expensive equipment if you don't want to do that. But uh, yeah, so that's it. If this was helpful at all, feel free to like and subscribe. Peace.